All right, uh, welcome to Food and Beverage, uh, episode one. We're your hosts. I'm going to be Mike, and this is... PK. And uh, the whole deal with this is just to kind of give you a rundown of uh, local San Francisco, local to us, Bay establishments um, in the Bay Area, San Francisco specifically. Mm -hmm. um, I guess mainly restaurants for now, but kind of... Any we'll establishments? Segue. Any any establishments? Fair game as far as uh, what we consider to be in the food and beverage industry. Um, today we have a, a food restaurant uh, establishment for you guys, and then for the beverage part, we got a couple of beers we're gonna Test taste out, along yeah. with you guys. Yeah, live on camera, so you can kind of get the beverage part out of the way for you as well. Mm -hmm. um, this week we went to a place uh, not too far from where I actually live in San Francisco. We were just kind of. Walking in the, by. In the yeah, spirit yeah. of the show, just trying to find something spur of the moment and check something new and exciting out for you guys. And it was actually a Cat Heads barbecue. Yeah. Um, did a little bit of research before the show. Not much information that I could find out besides that it was two, it seems like it's two buddies that kind of met in culinary school. The guy uh, and a girl, right? Yeah, Richard and uh... Pam, Pamela, I believe. Uh -huh. um, I think they started Cat, Cat's Head around 2008. Um, we will put all the information for you guys as far as and the you website know, too. Their yeah, website. So you can find their website, and you know, if you wanted to check it out, you can do that as well. I think the guy that who actually served us is Richard. I think so too. Yeah. Because looking on the website, it looked like it was the same yeah. dude. Um, I'm gonna get the beer open. Uh, if you want to maybe. What are we starting with. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Oh, this is the one I picked. Yeah, yeah. It's a uh, Nero's Imported Italian Craft Ale. Uh, it's a red ale, and it says Ap Apicio. Apicio. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't speak Apicio. Italian. Apicio. I don't yeah. know if you can see the label. We'll we'll post an image up from the website, their website. Right. Uh, Epic Geo, I think so. We'll see how it how it rocks and rolls. Uh, uh, we picked this up from Trader Joe's for what was the price? Going price maybe a dollar ninety nine. Two bucks. Yeah. Two ninety nine. Yeah. No, a dollar ninety nine. Yeah. Not it's bad. It's the first though. time we both had this. Yeah, that's uh, kind of the uh, kind of our deal for the show is to try to try new stuff and to get you guys inspired to try new things as well whether it be in your hometown or if you guys live in San Francisco or if you're visiting the Bay Area like we definitely uh, encourage you to come check stuff out yeah um, it's uh life's too short to uh, keep eating at the same places and drinking the same things um, just as a side note this is 6.5 percent alcohol and it's a uh, little over a pint big so we'll we'll see how that all, All right, right let's taste. start this off. Cheers. Yeah, dude. Cheers, definitely. Um, I'd say a darker amberish color. I mean, it might be able darker to come than up I... on screen. I know, I thought it was going to be a little lighter, too. Yeah. Right? Never know what to expect with Trader Joe's. They do have good prices on beers, but you never know which is their house beer and which is kind of like... Oh, I like this. Really? Beer? I normally don't like ale. I really like this. It's pretty smooth. Pretty malty, like I think so. Yeah, not much uh, bitterness to it, but not bad. It's easy. It's an easy drinker. It which is. is. That's fine. It's a good breakfast beer. Ha mm -hmm. ha ha. Given the time, it's about like noonish, but we started noon drinking now, maybe two yeah. hours ago. <laughs> it was an early day today, but uh, we'll get into cat heads, man. Um, so we kind of stumbled upon it by accident. Looked it's like on, a really uh, cool spot from the uh, twelfth side. Twelfth in Folsom. It is Folsom, right? Yeah. I believe it's like right in front of the Sports Authority. Right. On exactly. Folsom. Right across from Sports Authority. I believe that's 12. Um, what were your first impressions walking inside? Uh, I mean, it has the barbecue essence. Like, we're both from Florida, and like, it felt like a restaurant uh, that would be at home in right. where we're from. Right. Um, I mean, it's, the, it's not a walk in hostess type uh, establishment. Like, you go into a counter, you order what you want and uh, you know, find your seat and then they either call you up or you they bring it to you, whichever. Right. Um, it only seemed like there's probably two or three people at most ha handling the restaurant. Right. Like, uh, I only saw like maybe one cook, one uh, cashier who was assuming it's the owner, looked like it from the photo. Right. Um, I really like it. I mean, the, the whole style of it. How was the smell? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's the first thing I noticed <laughs> when I walked in, man. It was it was it's like astonishing. No, yeah, that so good. Very nice and smoky, typical like yeah, barbecue, barbecue kind of kind of spot. It was good. It was very homey, homey feeling. Yeah, you know, like, yeah. Nothing fancy, which is perfect. Like uh, you know, I, I would rather you focus on the food when it even comes the to marketing. Like joint. even like the they have an A frame that sits out in front of uh, the the establishment, the right. restaurant, whatever. And then like the style of uh, a marketing they use is kind of like 
like new modern American tattoo style art kind of sort of. Yeah. Like they had the cat's head and like barbecue with flames on yeah. the neon. Yeah. Like very, very modern, but at the same time retro American uh, style. Um, so it's a pretty small, it's pretty small. I mean, there's probably at most five, six tables, but then they're like the long bar. Yeah, like the bench Barbecue type bar, bench. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, whatever you would call it. <laughs> but then they have like, uh, they have uh, seats laid out right in front of like the actual barbecue cooking area. Right. Because I don't think there's anything further than the the back wall, right? There wasn't like a, I didn't, a hidden kitchen I didn't kind anything, of. I didn't see anything, no. I think they're all kind of just like all opened out, like they, their cooking area, their grill and whatnot. Um, yeah, I, I liked it. Like it's, it's nothing too fancy. It's just a good place to just hang out and chill. Like you don't have to get dressed up or anything. I mean, it's barbecue. Not, yeah, not pretentious at all, which yeah. is good. Some of the places in the Bay Area can kind of take themselves a little too seriously. And this place, I think, yeah. put all of its attention into the food, which is which is cool. Which mm -hmm. We'll get to that in a second. Um, I have the menu here with me. Um, it's kind of like a little cheat sheet. Um, I'm going to go over what we ordered real quick. Uh, we kind of are a fan of being able to try as much as we yeah. can. And it was only the two of us this time when we went out. So we got uh, as much food as the two of us could kind of share, I guess, amongst ourselves. That was a lot of food, though. Um, yeah, definitely. They have these uh, combo plates, they're called. And they, they have one that's, uh, they call two mains, different types, yeah. mains and sides is what they have. Um, mains would be like obviously your main dish and side or your side dishes. Um, that, in the combo plates, there's one that has one main and two sides, and there's one that has two mains and two sides. And mm -hmm. we both got the ones that have two mains and two sides so that obviously we could try as much food and kind of give you guys a, a drink too. Wait, no. No drink. No drink. Oh, okay. Remember, we just got water. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that was. I wish they served alcohol actually. They, yeah, they, they didn't. didn't. They yeah. Didn't, yeah. They had, I mean, the typical Coke, any kind of soda, root beer at most. Right, um, but no, no actual alcohol. But uh, I got, uh, as far as the mains, the two mains I got were the ribs and also the uh, the brisket, which oh, I okay. feel are pretty yeah, yeah. pretty much staples as a, a barbecue place. Yeah. And I got their habanero slaw, which sounded pretty interesting because I love spicy uh, spicy food. I'm not a huge coleslaw fan, but I really like spicy food, so I was like, yeah, why not? Um, and then I also got the uh, pimento mac and cheese, which yeah. I mean, mac and cheese is kind of a given. You got to give mac and cheese. It, uh, it is due. a staple for barbecue food. And PK over here, he got the sweet tea barbecue chicken, mm -hmm. and then he also got the uh, slow smoked pulled pork. And then his yeah. sides were the dandelion green potato salad and also the barbecue baked beans. You can see my head shake into that, the dandelion <laughs> oh my uh, gosh. mashed potato. Um, I'll start off real quick and we'll let you finish up. Yeah, yeah. Um, my ribs were pretty freaking awesome. Oh they were gosh. really good. And they were huge, huge slabs of meat on the ribs where a lot of places you'll so go juicy. and like the ribs are so small, like oh there's no gosh. meat on them. Yeah. Um, you didn't get that many, which is okay because there's so much meat on each rib. Yeah, and, yeah. And they were artfully prepared. Um, very, very good. The brisket, um, I wasn't as blown away with it. it. Certain parts were really good as far as being like moist. Other parts were kind of dry. Yeah. Um, which I don't know if that's just because the sauce and stuff, whatever. I'm kind of picky when it comes to brisket. I just got back from Texas a couple weeks ago and had some pretty good brisket across the awesome state of Texas. Good job, guys. Um, so I was a little picky by that. It tasted a little like it wasn't evenly a bad like roast beef I don't or know. Something. Like, uh, you know, like yeah, your mom yeah, makes yeah, roast yeah. beef and you're like, I really don't want it, mom. The My smoke mom flavor was beef, awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? My bad. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyways. <laughs> but uh, so that was that. The ribs definitely the, were awesome. Um, out it of was, my sides, yeah. um, the mac and cheese was good. It was definitely it was, middle of the line. Yeah. It wasn't nothing bad about it, but it wasn't. It's what you expect. Astounding. Because some yeah. of the other things we had, we'll get to in a second, were like really turned up to 11. This was just kind of like, I mean, cool. they didn't do anything special. Yeah, it was just normal. Just mac and cheese. Which is all right. Yeah. I mean, that's good. At yeah, least I mean, you, know you can't go good, wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good solid staple. Um, and then my habanero slaw, like when I first had it, I was kind of disappointed because it's yeah. definitely the sweetness of habanero. Yeah. But once you get into the salad a little bit, it gets a little hotter and a little hotter. So as I ate more of it, I really got into it because it got a little more spicy, but it was never like, yeah. you think habanero, you think like, I'm going to start sweating and crying. It was never that hot, but it just had a good sweet hotness to it that was I really appreciated. So I, I grew to love that, and I'm not a huge coleslaw fan, so for me to like it was kind me of either. like, if you love coleslaw, you'll probably dig it. Um, probably more than we did. Right. I think so. Right. What about your stuff, man? You had a couple of winners there. What do you um, think? The pork. Out of... Because I had the chicken and I had the pork too, and I think the the pork was definitely the best out of the two. 
uh, I mean, one of the complaints that I had with the chicken was maybe the sauce wasn't really evenly sp spread out. Right. Similar like, to the roast beef. Yeah, there's yeah. just like the brisket. Because <laughs> like, oh my god, I can't believe I just did Because like they, I mean, they just basically lay out the the chicken on top of each other, one another. Right. And they would spread like the barbecue sauce. So like, I mean, the front facade of it would be uh, drenched in the sauce, and it would be, uh, I mean, a more, so I don't know, not softer, not as dry as the other parts would be. But once you get to that dry part, it's just like. You know, I wish there was more sauce to it. I kind of feel chicken is like an egg, though. You know, like it's one of the simplest and hardest things to do right. Uh, I would say so, yeah. It was definitely way drier than I expected on mm -hmm. on all the other things that we ate there. That was definitely most disappointed with the chicken. Like it wasn't even like, oh, this is okay. Like this was not good. Really, I feel like uh, I didn't like the brisket as much as the chicken. The chicken was really what was left over on your plate. <laughs> the fucking what was, carrot. What was, <laughs> I ate that. I ate that. We'll get to that in a second. They give you a, a, a tiny biscuit, which I guess they're famous oh. for. I forgot to mention this. I'm sorry. No, I'm not talking about the biscuit. I was talking about the biscuit. I know. Brisket, I forgot yeah. to mention the sides or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But they give you, with every combo plate, they'll give you a really tiny biscuit. It's literally probably about that big. It was fucking amazing. Um, I don't know what the fuck we'll is though. <laughs> no, but it's small. I'm just saying. I'm telling them. It's small the, biscuit. The size. Yeah, they're yeah. giving the size. And then uh, they give you a couple of house-made pickles, but not cucumber pickles. They pickled, um, it looked like carrot. onions and carrots. I didn't see the. I had like white red stuff. Red onions. I had like white stuff on mine. That's what she I don't said. Know. Whatever. She like... At least definitely carrots. Um, it was way sliced like like uh, rounds, so not like lengthwise. They were sliced like coin. Yeah. Coin size. But then I mean um, those, those are stuff that they just give to everyone. You know, right, it's just right, like right. typical yeah, yeah, yeah. typical sides. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I thought the chicken was their weakest link, in my opinion. Yeah, um, it was. It was definitely dry. It was. We're on consensus in that it was like yeah. we were talking about it. and We're like, this is overly dry. Um, um, don't know if it was a bad night or late at night or whatever. We came around dinner time, so it wasn't. I mean, I think it was displayed in the way a barbecue plate would be displayed. You know. Yeah. Like, but I've had barbecue where it wasn't as so dry as right. one side to another. It's just like. Um, I don't know, they just basically laid out the chicken right, right on the plate and just kind of slabbed it with the sauce. Which, I mean, it's okay to a certain point, but then like if you're cooking ribs, I mean, you're slabbing the right. sauce on the side, then you're grilling at the same time. Like they actually just implemented that sauce right towards the end when they were ready to, I mean. Just throw it on the plate kind yeah. of thing. Right, right, right. So maybe it wasn't basted yeah. like as they were cooking it, it didn't, to keep it Yeah, it didn't soak in. That makes sense. That makes um, sense. Yeah, it was really, it was really dry. The pork was definitely, I mean, second to the ribs. I love the ribs uh, that he ordered. Um, the pork was definitely my second that best. That pork was yeah. pretty amazing. It wasn't, like, it, was, it wasn't dry at all. It was like very moist, very flavorful. I mean, yeah, savory. Yeah, tons of flavor. Amazing like amount of smoke. I mean, it was just, that pulled pork was legit. Um, Next, oh, the What best. about the baked beans? The baked beans. Um, I liked them. Yeah, it was thought, good. I mean, it was good. Yeah, it was, definitely. You could have easily done like with the macaroni and cheese and just had baked beans. You know what I mean? But they did a little something extra. I don't know what they put in it, but it didn't taste like. Cookie it was cutter, a little. Yeah, it was a little different. I can't really pinpoint beans. it. it was good. We were it was talking good. about it that night. I can't remember we were what. We're trying to figure out like what the heck was in it. Um, um, but they did a good job. It was whatever what, their. What's the description? Is there? I don't think so. Like, does it say what? No. It doesn't really give breakdowns on this guy. Um, but I liked them. I mean, they weren't like mind blowing by any means. I mean, come on, guys, it's big beans. But like, mm -hmm. they did good. They were above average, I think. Um, but I mean, that, just like the macaroni and cheese, it's kind right. of the iconic thing to have when you're having barbecue. Oh, definitely. But that brings um, us to the kind of the. The, the last. I, side. I would say the surprise of the dinner. Yeah. Like, as far as like, catch us by surprise. It was um, definitely fantastic. Was dandelion. Uh, oh my Potato gosh. salad, and let me tell you what, like that. It I've sounded never had, interesting, so I've never like, had dandelions before. Yeah, I didn't never know. Had dandelion I didn't greens. even know that was something as edible as it could have been right. then. You know, I've had it in salads and stuff before, so I've had it like that, but never in this context. Yeah, and, uh, it sounded really interesting. We tried it, and like, it was as mind blowing as a potato salad could be. It was pretty freaking phenomenal. I mean, um, you you taste the dandelions like it's. I mean, right. leaf by leaf, it's not like chopped up like chives Come on type there, stuff. Buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> It's not, I mean, it's not chopped up like, I mean, if you did and it was a chives. chunky. it was a chunky potato salad. I know yeah. some of them can kind of be lame and like do like a mashed potato thing. This was like. Oh yeah, like the bits and pieces. Yeah, they were, they're cube shaped uh, 
mashed potatoes and chunks of dandelion greens <laughs> <laughs> which i mean you can is. i mean it has a strong taste to it yeah. like you know but good, but you good. know what it is like even with the weakest palate like you can tell what a dandelion tastes like it was the first time i had it and uh i didn't i thought it was going to kind of be masked with the mashed potatoes but like as soon as i bit into it like oh wow this is a dandelion right. like i can really distinctively tell uh between the mashed potatoes because obviously i know that taste potato salad yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. and uh that's all right i called it freaking roast beef <laughs> <laughs> um it was amazing it was best easily the best side they have there very good oh sorry i didn't know we were going that fast yeah we got we got a whole other beer to uh review for these guys and done gals. All right. But yeah. So number two, real quick, uh, is Boatswain Double IPA, uh, Twin Screw Steamer. It's another one we got from Trader Joe's. Nothing, you think that's a? That might be their own brand, right? Possibly. Um, nothing too too crazy this week as far as like specialty beers. We do have a place we'll mention in a later episode that mm -hmm. uh, we get some pretty cool stuff from. Um, just didn't um, didn't have the time today as far as. Uh, the place that we usually go to weren't open. Yeah, um, they open City Beer. Weird. Yeah. If you guys ever happen to go there, it's pretty how legit. Many, how many beers? I don't know. They have <laughs> who knows? A ton. I don't even think they know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't they have know. an inventory. Inventory. <laughs> yeah. Not saying that they aren't intelligent. There, those guys are mm -hmm. some of the best beer dudes ever. Uh, they just have such a ever expanding and rotating. Wow beer selection that it's pretty impressive um, definitely a good place to go to if you're in the city or if you live in the city or if you're visiting the city and you're into beer um, they do a really good job I think so yeah um, it's a good place um, but yeah I'm ready to get into this view of that guy was this an ale too oh IPA, IPA yeah, yeah yeah Indian pale ale not really one of my favorites yeah he's not a huge hop head where i am so it's kind of i like to sneak these in here whenever i can to yeah all the time <laughs> make him see the uh the face or make make him make the face seems like it might be about the same color a little lighter I think it's a little lighter yeah little definitely lighter. good head it's more i mean more visible through or more opaque it's weird this beer smells like cigarettes oh wait yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, went in my nose. At least not your mustache. Yeah. Oh, I used to have a mustache. I shaved it off. I'll grow back. You'll see the progression in the show. You guys will see it and be like, why would you ever shave such a magnificent thing? Because my girlfriend. She's right there, but... Can't see her. Obviously. Um, um, what do you think? Not bad. Not it was great, yeah. I thought it was going to be. This beer. Oh, this beer. Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about the restaurant. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Hmm. It's good. It's not a. It's not definitely quite as bitter as I would like it to be, but I like it actually. Yeah. I mean, I've had. I could see you digging it. I have plenty of Indian ale, pale ale, and I I can easily say that I'm not such a big fan. But this one, it's a lot smoother. It's not as fucking over the edge. Yeah. Which a lot of the West Coast styles kind of tend to be. Mm -hmm pushing the envelope as far as you can which i enjoy to an extent but at the same time like i really like to balance beer wait indian but pale is a style correct it's not a regional thing correct okay okay yeah back in the day we can do a beer lesson if you guys are into that later we can go a whole episode on beer if you want um but like back in the day what they used to do like british soldiers going to like going to india they would have to ship stronger ales so that they would last the journey so they made uh, like okay, they okay. condensed it so it'd be like twice yeah. the beer in the same barrel yeah yeah, with yeah. The intent that once they got to India they would put equal amounts of water or whatever the ratio is they would yeah. water it down and then drink it mm -hmm. but they just started drinking it and realized they got drunk faster and really liked it and they so just kind of became yeah, yeah. became a style that's the real <laughs> Wikipedia Wikipedia version like if you guys notice the lighting changing we're outside yeah. sorry we're sun. outside yeah <laughs> we're on a roof uh, in beautiful San Francisco and it's kind of we're uh, braving the elements for you guys to give you uh, adequate reviews. Good here, thing we but... waited till the wind cut down a little. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was crazy earlier. But uh, so like, I would say overall, I would say I really, my opinion, I like the uh, the pulled pork the best, followed by the ribs, which is a close second. Really, the pork. Um, okay. And then probably the brisket and then the chicken. Uh, the chicken really didn't win me over. Um, no, that was the least of them. Sidewise, I would say I definitely like the potatoes the best. Um, and yes. probably followed by the beans, the mac and cheese, and then the slaw. 
Okay. Um, if you guys are a fan of Slaw, like I said, you'll probably really like it a lot more than me. Yeah, I yeah. didn't. Sorry. Um, I didn't dislike it by any means. I just, that's kind of how it rolls. But if you have a chance to eat all of them together, it's so good. <laughs> uh, what about like what you felt? Kinda? Definitely the ribs were number one. Like it, it just brought back memories. Cause like I haven't had barbecue in such a long time. And it's just like, that's, that's the heart and soul of barbecue, I right. think. Right, definitely. Um, and the way they prepared Even it. No brisket, Texas will argue differently, but. I mean, if we ever get a chance <laughs> to go there. Yeah. And then, uh, well, this is really good. Not as good as the first one, I don't think. But I, I like this it. one a little bit better. It's not quite as sweet, but. Yeah. Um, I mean, first is the ribs. Second is definitely. Fuck. The pork. Sorry. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah the I pork. Was say, definitely the pork. The pork. I was like, should I? Set they do do chicken? sandwiches <laughs> also, so I kind of want to. I wouldn't mind going back and trying the pulled pork sandwich. Yeah, um, yeah. But you guys can see all that on their website. That was just kind of a side note. I would definitely like to, to try that. Um, I mean, third. I don't know. It's tough to say. I didn't. I didn't really have much fondness to either the brisket or the chicken. Um, I mean, if I had to choose one, maybe the brisket would have been a lot more better because it's. I mean is a lot more tender than like chicken definitely, in general definitely. and that's just like not the way they prepared it. it's just like in in generalness of what it is right um and the chicken was just i mean the parts with the sauce was good um right. at some points i think it was a little too much like they kind of based the taste not purely by how they prepared it but just basically off the sauce itself um it didn't like i mean you get that on the fucking front side of it you know right. and then once you get into like the the other side of the chicken it's just like man don't want this anymore right basically um the the sides definitely the 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 potato salad the dandelions that just blew my mind like it was the first time having it and it's just it's not going to be the last time at all yeah that was really good yeah it's it's i mean for anything i think if i was going to go back to the place which i would um it would be purely for the ribs and the, the potato salad. Um, but then everything else, uh, other than that, like the baked greens and the, the macaroni. Uh, and the slaw. The slaw, I think, I can't literally place it at the bottom of my list because... It's more original, I guess. Yeah, it was... I'm just was, more of a mac and cheese fan, so it kind of edged out a little bit. Like, the slaw was really cool because they did something very unique as far as, like, most people wouldn't quite I think, like, chance. for, I mean, for eating or tasting-wise, like, that would be, like, number two next to the potato salad. But right. then, like, originality, that would be at least uh, right behind the dandelion right. uh, potato right, right, salad. Right. Like, it was totally different, totally yeah, unique. Yeah, I agree with that. Unique. Um, and I really enjoyed uh, that for its essence, you know, for its purity. And uh, but taste-wise, I'm not. I mean, I am Huge. not. Yeah, yeah coastal fan at all. Um, but I am a habanero fan. Like I, I love. love yeah, we pepper. both are huge spicy food fans. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I mean, what would you rate the the overall, overall? experience? Yeah. Um, you know what, and guys, the price was right. They did a good job pricing stuff too, which is something else we oh will my. take we will take into we're consideration. We're way beyond here. full. We're gonna I think so. We're gonna take into consideration I mean, we're gonna maybe not review all of this verbally on the show, but in our ratings all of this has been taken into consideration. Everything yeah. from, you know, inside and outside appearance to, you know, how clean the yeah. bathrooms are to how well Oh my we god, were you heard the bathroom? Like no, as no, soon as no, you no, walk no, into no, the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. There's like Coca Cola memorabilia. I was everywhere. like, whoa, like not I'm, that's just side note, it was funny. But anyways, like these are all things that we're gonna kind of put into our rating or whatever. We yeah. might not talk about on the show, but I mean, I felt we were, it was great inside. Really. Yeah, clean, we're not just grading just purely the food, like yeah, the overall experience. Overall experience. Because um, that's all that matters when it goes when you go out to eat. Right. Yeah. And we were definitely full. Um, as a side note, I loved the little pickles. He wasn't a huge fan, and we both loved yeah. the biscuits. Phenomenal biscuits. Yeah. However, when you guys go in there, you'll see you can buy them by themselves for five dollars each. And I don't know how, like, I don't know how big they are. We didn't get those. We got the little ones. But that, like that, comes that biscuit with the better combo. be like this. I mean, a five dollar biscuit, but it. I don't know. It's the biscuit legit. was really good. Though. But five dollars, you can get like almost a whole plate of food for that much. I just spit everywhere. It's okay, uh, but like I'm passionate still. about it. It's okay. But I mean, the biscuit make, was good. Make your decision for yourself. But we it's both agree than, uh, that that biscuit was legit. Um, 
Me, if I had to rate it, and I'm kind of picky on barbecue, and they backed it up. They did a really good job, and we'll be kind of, we'll be kind of harsh on our reviews. Like, um, yeah, we were talking about like a five is almost unattainable. Like, you got to be, yeah, the best of the best of the best. Um, so you're not going to see that many on the, that many of these on these show. I hope so. That would be awesome. Yeah. Um, but I would say, but I think mostly the downfall is coming from like hosting or server. Like the yeah, we both worked in restaurants. We'll give you a background and stuff. You know, as the show goes yeah, on, you guys will on. get to know us better, and as we get to know you better. Um, but yeah, we both worked in the hospitality industry, um, so we look at it from the inside and the outside also. But I would say I would say a solid like three. Seven, three, eight. Not quite a okay. four, but like yeah, yeah, I would yeah. say it was a really solid offering. And if you love barbecue, definitely check it out. Like it was really, really good. They did a great job. Like I, I would definitely go back and recommend it. Like for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely. If, if nothing else, for the pulled pork sandwich and those potatoes. The potatoes um, just did it. What oh about my you, gosh. Man? What about what uh, are you rating wise? I mean, it's oh man, it's tough because like you can't really throw in like the whole oh the server was bad right or, cause there's like, none of that. yeah there's none of that like it's basically purely being judging it by uh by the, the food, food basically it's, food and the price and stuff yeah i mean <coughs> definitely which is okay i mean yeah. we kind of we, we mentioned that that's fine i would say in all honesty probably maybe not quite a four, but like maybe three point nine. I would say. Right. Yeah, they were up there. Yeah, it was, it was a very solid offering. Like, it's not like I mean, I probably enjoyed half of the food that was served, but the half that I like was like wow, like it was fucking amazing. You know what I mean? But then the other half were not bad, but it was just like what you expect. But how about this? Let's let's kind of like wrap. Are you it gonna up change on, my rating? Let's wrap it up. <laughs> no, let's wrap it up on this note though. Like, how do you feel about like? being at least what i've had the best bay area barbecue restaurant bay area i would say like is the best San because Francisco. like, like i was... haven't had any other exactly. i can't honestly and they, say they walk the walk i mean they yeah, did a yeah, really yeah. good job so like i mean if you're if you're in the bay area or if you're visiting and you're a huge barbecue fan definitely yeah. check these guys out man cat heads barbecue like yeah they they did a really good job and they, they were very hospitable and you know uh it was my mistake i was going to grab some silver from where i was getting water and he's like oh did you guys run out of silver on your table and because uh, they have little yeah, cups yeah, yeah. somewhere, and I was like, "Yeah, man, we didn't have any." And I get over, he's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry about that." And I walk over the table, and I realize that this ill man there is silver on the table. So it's little things like, and I apologize to him. I was like, "My bad, dude. I didn't even see it." So it's little things like they really want to make sure that you guys are catered to and taken care of. So it's little touches that that do a good job. But yeah, no, they're definitely friendly at the most. Like, I mean, we've been to bad restaurants that we've been neglected, but it's just like, I mean, it's like two, two or three people just working there, and like. It's, it's definitely the home feel of like a family restaurant, you know, right. it's not um, it's not a corporate restaurant at all. It's just like a couple of guys and a girl right. uh, just kind of chilling, just like making good food uh, to for good people. And um, if you don't enjoy it, I mean, you don't this need to is, go, you know? Side note, guys, this is a pretty good session beer. Yeah. Uh, it's surprising me. It's not uh, mind blowing by any means, but as far as something to keep beside you to sip on, good stuff but uh mm -hmm. what do you say until until next week uh to next week you know if you have got to come up with something to say at the end of the show i don't uh, fucking know until next week try something new maybe if you have any recommendations uh for oh, definitely any definitely. uh We're, any restaurants or any bars at the, at the end of the show typically we'll start we'll ask you guys questions because we want to get some feedback from you guys and and kind of if you definitely have any suggestions of places to go or places that you want to see reviewed on the yeah, show kind of stuff like that um, as long as we haven't been there, or maybe we'll make exceptions and try something we haven't had there, depending. But yeah, right now yeah, it's yeah. definitely new places. But that I mean, might if you change. have a dish, if you have a restaurant, right, you know, right. we're totally open to all these. Hit us up, new man. Send us an email. Opinions. We'll put a we'll put a link down in the bottom here, so you guys will be able to. We'll give that up. Uh, the email where you can send all that stuff to. Right. Um, and we'll have our website. Check us we'll out. have our website up in a week, maybe right. by the time of this shooting. Right. So we'll have all the contact information for you guys there to be able to get a hold of us and send us any questions, which we would love to do, and then answer on the next show and yeah. let you guys know what's up and hopefully say, hey, look, like, so and so, we're eating at your restaurant this episode. Like, thank you for the mm -hmm. great recommendation. Um, but thank you guys for checking us out. I really appreciate it and hope you uh, enjoyed this as much as we have. And go out and try something new, man. That's what life's all about. Um, I'm Mike, and this is PK.
thanks again, guys, for watching. This food is and uh, Food and Beverage SF. Oh, yeah. We'll see you next week. Cheers, bud. Cheers.